From UB Stadium in Amherst, New York, you're in the Bullseye. I'm Paul Peck, radio voice of Buffalo Bulls football here following a big, impressive 51 to 10 win for the Buffalo Bulls over the Akron Zip. Something about this field and this stadium brings out the best in the Buffalo football team. Their third win of the year, their third win here at UB Stadium, and the fourth time they've scored more than 30 points in a game here at home. As a matter of fact, the 51 points scored by the Bulls, the most for a Buffalo Bulls football team since 1992. We've got a lot of heroes to talk about in this game, none more so than Brandon Oliver, a Division 1A record, 235 yards, rushing to go with two touchdowns, the yardage total breaking the old mark held by James Starks. We'll look back at the performance of Brandon Oliver. There were a lot of other heroes in this game. Brandon Murray for his opening kickoff return, Fred Lee for his first two touchdown receptions of the season, Chaz Anderson threw those two touchdowns down passes. The Bulls also chipping in on defense. Khalil Mack with two sacks. Colby Way with a big game. Naja Johnson with his first career interception. All of those we'll touch on as we take you through this week's edition of the Bullseye. We'll also have our Karuba collision of the game and our top five plays of the game. We've got plenty to pick from there, but we start with a discussion of this win and we start by talking about the star of this game, running back Brandon Oliver. And it's a handoff to Bo Oliver, running up the middle into the open at the 40, 45 at the 50, at the 40. There goes Bo at the 20, at the 15, and down to the 10-yard line goes Brandon Oliver. They pounded off the right-hand side. The tight end's doing a really good job blocking for Brandon Oliver, and he does the rest. He gets up into that second level and is almost gone. Huge play for Buffalo once again. 58 yards on the run for Brandon Oliver. Puts him at 221 yards rushing. I'm joined by Bulls radio color analyst Jim Kubiak following this 51-10 win for the Buffalo Bulls over the Akron Zips. An awful lot to talk about. Almost all of it positive. You sensed a little bit of a sigh of relief that came from head coach Jeff Quinn and his players. Finally, maybe they feel like they've played the way they are capable of playing. And as we saw here, when they're capable of playing well, they sure are impressive. What a great performance by Buffalo in all three phases and led by Brandon Oliver, who breaks a Division I record, 235 yards on the ground. They did a great job of pounding the ball. The offensive line did a great job, and they had balance. A couple touchdown throws, Chaz Anderson distributing the ball, getting the tight ends involved in this game. And, and then defensively, also another outstanding day for Bill Inge and his defense. You know, they really had all three phases going today. You know, I thought the tone was clearly set from the opening kickoff. Special teams have been a struggle for the Bulls this year, but when Brandon Murray takes that opening kickoff back 93 yards to the one yard line and the Bulls score one play later, not only was it sort of, okay, we're here to play, we're here to play well, but it sort of took the pressure off a little bit. It did, and it was the first time this year that there was a big special teams play and it set up a touchdown for a one play run by Brandon Oliver, and that really set the tone for the entire day and, you know, all three phases, I can't say enough. They really put it together today, and it was great to see. So Brandon Oliver sets the Division 1A rushing record. Uh, he has a chance now to set the single season rushing record. He has a chance to do that, break James Stark's record next week. His next carry in next week game will be a new record for carries in a season. But the play that I think you were most impressed by from Brandon Oliver in this game over Akron was not a run, it was not a catch, it was a block. It was a block, and it's so important when you're in six-man protection to have a, a running back that can also step up in that A-gap and take up on a linebacker, and, and he did just that. There was a blitz in the A-gap. He stepped up, and he just stonewalled the linebacker and allowed Chaz Anderson to throw a touchdown pass to Fred Lee, and, and that's what's so special about Brandon Oliver. Not only does he give you the runs, but he's great in protection, and he's great catching the football in the backfield, and he was just a awesome weapon today. Jeff Quinn said Bo inspires this team as a as a former quarterback at a high college level. Give an idea of what watching one player be so good, how that helps the rest of the squad. Well, it gives you incentive to do your best because he's out there selling out each and every play and protection and in pass routes and and, and that is so important, especially for the offensive linemen. Offensive linemen love a guy like this because he's always given 100% 
And, uh, you know, they want to fight for a guy like that. And I think that's really important. And he certainly embodies everything that Jeff Quinn is about. Well, it's been a struggling season for most of it. And that everyone is well aware of that. But to win a game like this, to score as many points as they did, now the Bulls have one more chance to hold on to that momentum heading into the 2012 season. What do you expect? And how much can a win like this help the Bulls as they get ready for the finale against Bowling Green? Well, make no mistake, Paul, this was a very important game for Buffalo last year. They went to Akron and lost to an 0-10 Akron football team. And although there's been great progress, this is a huge game for Buffalo to, to not only win, but for the Jeff Quinn era. And it kind of leads us into next week, the final game of the year against Bowling Green, another game that Buffalo could win for four wins on the year. And, and that would really be a big improvement. Well, but first, a look back at all the highlights and all the great moments from this 51-10 win over Akron. We take you into the Buffalo locker room and into the news conference where head coach Jeff Quinn was a proud papa. I uh, couldn't be more proud of the way these kids have hung in there all year and uh, to be able to have this kind of game and put it all together, all three phases. You know, it started out in the first play of the game. Uh, Brandon Murray, uh, big time uh, kickoff return, you know, put us into one yard line. And I really knew at that point, you know, that these kids were ready to play. We did a great, great job game planning this week on their team. You know, we saw a lot of, a lot of what the other teams did and we had a lot of um, similar runs to the other team, so we just game plan real good. O-line did a great job, you know, Davis, Winery, um, Ostrowski, Carson, and Oscar, those guys did a great job, and the tight ends, Conacher, um, Dennison, and um, Jimmy Gordon, and the receivers did a great job blocking up at the next level for me to get extra yards and everything. That kind of came down from the box and, you know, said, hey, you know, he's 10 yards away, and uh, we were ready to make a change, and. You know, and I said, uh, he said, hey, Coach, I want to do something uh, not only for myself, but for this program and for the guys up front. And the guys up front were like, Bo, we're, we're there for you. When you can run the ball effectively, you can throw the ball effectively. And uh, I love giving Bo the ball, even in the passing game. When you have your mind in the right place and you have your heart in the right spot and you know you train, you develop, you get those moments and you capitalize on it, uh, it says a lot about a guy like Fred Lee. And it's nice to see him step up when you lose a Nuts and, uh, and you lose TJ. You know, it's nice to have those guys. To get that opportunity in the past few games and this week even more, you know, moving out wide to where Alex played, you know, he just always would tell me because we roommates at the house and he'd be like, hey, man, you know, if not you, who? You know what I'm saying? And he would just be like, you know, I know he would do it, so I can't let him down. The front seven, really a very active group up there today. And, you know, they created some turnovers. We were able to put some points uh, off of their turnovers, their efforts, and that just adds to the whole uh, the team concept. It's a solid team win and uh, couldn't be more proud of our football players. Before the game, I knew we prepared. You know, we were ready for whatever they was going to throw at us. And uh, Kobe Wade, Steve Means, Richie Smith, all those guys, we were, we were juiced up. We were ready to go. A solid win. Could be more proud uh, to put 50 points on an East Divisional rival team. You know, says a lot about our kids. And now what we have to do is uh, get that to carry over uh, that same energy, that same mindset uh, to be able to play next Friday against Bowling Green.